Hello friends, it's me Chin Encoder. This is the eighth chapter in the Java multi-threading video tutorial series. In the previous chapter, we talked about force doping a thread. In this chapter, we will see another very important topic, which is synchronizing multiple threads. <clears throat> So I have prepared a very simple example. It will be available under chapter 8 in the GitHub repository. <clears throat> Here we have a list of characters and a string message. So this is the thread. This, will, this class will be executed using multiple threads. So the uh, list names and the message is received from the parent thread. And what we do here is very simple. We will take each character one by one from the string and put it in inside this names array or names list. For example, if it is hello, then first it will take H and add it to the list. Then it will take E, then add it to the list then it will take l then l and o so it is a very simple uh, processing it will take one character at a time then it will put that character into a list one at a time so that's about the thread logic the problem uh, there is a problem in normal approach when we do this using multiple threads so that is why we need synchronization in order to show you that issue let me just create the first thread so thread thread one equals new string reverse thread so here the point is i'm going to use the same list for two different threads so list and the message is hello then i'm going to start the thread using thread dot start then in the end i will wait for the thread one to complete before exiting my program so just like before we said we will use join and if i run this program right now you, you will see that the result is hello h-e-l-l-o which is very much expected right then if i change this to w-r-l-d world then also we will get w-o-r-l-d in order but the problem will come when we do this with two or more threads so i'm going to create another thread which is thread 2 and thread 2 dot start and finally we need to join it so that will be thread 2 dot join and the first uh, thread handles with hello and the second thread handles with the world and if i run this program right now you will see that it is showing some random data i mean this is not world this is not hello but it is a combination of those two if uh, uh, the funny thing is if i uh, comment out one thread and run only one thread at a time you will see that it is working perfectly fine but when i run both of them together we are getting the error so the reason is because we are using the same resource which is the same variable list in both threads so what will happen is when we start both thread together both will start executing this method together i mean those two threads will be executing this run method simultaneously when that happens instead of taking one strings items at a time like h then e then l like that in, instead it will come like this both world and hello is executing at a time so maybe in the processor first the first thread executed and h added and the next one will not be e because uh, from the world word the w will be added then from the hello maybe e and l is added uh, then after that maybe the o is added that is unpredictable because the, because this can execute based on the cpu scheduling and we can't predict in which order they will execute it is not one by one it is not any predictable thing so in this case in order to fix this issue we have to make use of synchronization and this is the requirement for synchronization so let's see how we can fix it the fix is very simple what we have to do is we have to make sure that only one thread will be getting access to this list at a time okay so if you go to this string reverse thread 
there is our names and currently both threads or any number of threads can acquire this names at a time but in order to synchronize it we can make use of a keyword called synchronized and the synchronized will take a parameter and here you can specify which variable you have to synchronize so i'm going to synchronize the names remember you we cannot synchronize this issue with message because message is two different objects for two different threads but only the list is the shared resource here between the threads so we have to synchronize it with names so synchronize the names and we just have to include the code that we have to synchronize within the block so within this block within the synchronized names block we have this entire code okay so now if we now if we run the program let us just run the program and you can see that now it is in perfect order when the first thread has acquired the list first and it added the hello then on the same thread uh, on the same list the second thread added the w o r l d and there you see the hello and the hello world so that's it that's it. Uh, the synchronization is this much simple but you have to make sure that all the shared resources have access is accessed from thread only in a synchronized manner if you don't synchronize it then it will be having unpredictable values in between so in order to show you the effect if i just synchronize it with the wrong variable message then you will see that it is not the data is not correct at all see it is different it is well low well low and it is even contains a null value now another thing another point uh, if you haven't understood this exactly this is happening because this list is shared between this thread 1 and thread 2 if you use the if you use separate list let's say you used a separate array list for this thread and that thread let me show you so uh, I'm sorry that is second parameter let's say I'm using two different array list yeah okay yeah here there I used one array list and here I used another list and I am not using any common array list in this case it is not a problem at all there is no synchronization problem or there is no need of any synchronization because these two array lists are two different objects and uh, when it comes here these two names are totally different so the problem will come when you use same object between two threads so the original solution or the fix or the solution is synchronizing the names so that only one at a time can enter it and here i am going to print one more message uh, names acquired by names acquired by we need the thread name so thread dot current thread dot get name and if i run this program without giving any thread name you will see like this thread zero thread one and you can see that the names was first acquired by hello and then it was acquired by thread one to print the world into that and the thing is if you don't use synchronization let me show that too so let me remove the synchronization by changing it to message and if i run this now then it uh, this uh, this message will be shown together you can see that names was a uh, names parameter uh, variable was acquired by thread one first then it was acquired by thread zero and then they started processing together and here we got the correct synchronization it was first acquired by thread zero then acquired by thread one so that's it guys that's about the basics of synchronization make sure that you understood this concept thoroughly because synchronization is very 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 important in multi-threading so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and i will see you on the next one